Hello friends, this is Hardik and you are watching Hardik CAD CAM. It is 7th lecture on our YouTube channel and today we are making a piston in Fusion 360 like this. And all the dimensions for that piston are given in this drawing. So we will start with the new design by clicking this plus sign. First of all, we will create a cylinder of 80 mm diameter the height will be 50 mm for that we will create a new sketch by clicking this create sketch button and we will select the top plane sorry for the interruption here i am talking about my course on udemy i have created a course on fusion 360 on udemy naming animated engine model design in fusion 360 more than 2300 students enrolled on this course and it has 4 star rating. So if you are interested in this course then there is a link in the description. If you are using that link you will get some discounts and share this link with your friends and family that will help the channel. Thank you very much. First of all we will create a circle of 80 mm diameter for that the shortcut is c we'll click on the origin and we will write down 80 and enter now we will extrude it for that first of all we will finish this sketch and for extrusion the shortcut is e as there is no any other section so the circle is automatically selected now we will extrude it 50 mm we will write down 50 and enter. Now our cylinder is ready. Now we will create this type of rings. For that we will create a sketch on this plane. First of all what will we do? We will project this upper circle onto our sketch environment. So for that the shortcut is P. We will click on this circle and ok now we got a line on our sketch now we will create a line of 1.5 mm and 2 mm ok so for line the shortcut is L we will click on this end point we will write down 1.5 enter again we will create a horizontal line of 2 mm like this same way we will create a 1.5 mm line over here and again a 2 mm line over here. Now we got all these four lines. Now we will copy all these four lines downwards. For that we will go to create and we will use the command rectangular pattern. Now we will select all these four lines 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now if we want all these lines to be copied horizontally then we need to enter the distance over here but we want all these four lines to be copied vertically downwards ok. So for that we need to enter the distance over here as we are moving downwards we, we need to enter the distance in negative value here uh, the distance from this point to this point is 1.5 plus 1.5 that means 3 mm so we need to enter the distance of minus 6 mm over here that way we can copy all these three object and in quantity make sure that you entered 3 ok now ok now we got all these lines now what will we do we will create a line from this point to this point that way we we can get this close loop like this now we will finish this sketch and we will revolve it for revolve we will go to create and revolve now we will select these three sections over here and for axis we will click over here and we will select this vertical axis ok 
now our section is revolved and will make sure that in operation the cut is selected and ok that way we can get this type of rings now we will create these two slots for that we will create a sketch on this plane now first of all we will create a rectangle a rectangle from this point to this point the width of that rectangle will be 60 mm and the height will be 32.5 mm so we will create a rectangle the shortcut for rectangle is R we will click on any random point over here we will write down 32.5 tab 60 and enter now we will create a line joining midpoint of these two lines now we will create a dimension for that we will use this dimension the rectangle is 2.5 mm apart from this line so we will create a dimension for that the shortcut is D we will click on this line we will click on origin we will click over here and we will write down 1 2.5 and enter now our rectangle is vertically fixed now we need to fix it horizontally for that we will use the constraint vertical horizontal ok we will click on this constraint we will select origin and we will click on the midpoint that way the rectangle is fixed with constraint now what will we do we will create lines like this why that I will explain later ok same way on the left side like this now we code this type of sections over here now we will extrude them we will finish this sketch and we will extrude them for extrusion the shortcut is E we will select on this section this section and in direction we will select symmetric and now we will extrude it make sure that in operation there is cut is selected and we will hit ok that way we can get this type of slots on both sides ok now we need to create a hole like this the diameter will be 25 mm so we will create a new sketch on this face now we will create a circle for that the shortcut is C we will click on any random point over here we will write down 25 and enter now we will use the horizontal vertical constraint we will click on this constraint we will select uh, midpoint we will select origin that way it is fixed we will create a dimension between this center point and this line that will be 32.5 divided by 2 because the distance from this line to this line is 32.5 so that way it is placed on the center now we will extrude it for that finish sketch and now we will extrude it the shortcut for the extrusion is E we will extrude this section right hand side and make sure that in operation there is cut selected and ok now this way we can get the hole now we need to make this cylinder hollow from inside for that the inside diameter of the cylinder is 42 mm and the depth is 37 mm so we will create a new sketch at the bottom face the shortcut for the circle is C we will click on the origin and we will write down 42 and enter now we will extrude it for that finish sketch for extrusion the shortcut is E we will select this face and we will extrude it minus sorry I forgot the distance 37 so we will extrude it 37 mm for that the shortcut is E we'll select on this section and we'll write down minus 37 and enter now our piston is hollow 
so this is the model make this model on your own and if you find any difficulty then repeat this lecture thank you very much